We are live, but not live. Not live. And there'll be a little. I've done a little logo in the corner now. In Have you? Your top left corner. Have you? That says not live. Live, not live. It's so clever. Hello. That's that's why. I... Why are we not doing it live? Because it's not live. Is it in case I do like a yeah boo bar something like that? Yeah. Pretty okay. So. Answer, then. <laughs> <laughs> you have to edit me you out. We'll edit it out. <laughs> no one's even going to see this. <laughs> we'll leave this in. It's part of the, the preamble, isn't it? Yes. So, this is live, not Hi, live. Al. Hiya. Hiya, Jack. How are you doing? Two Happy metres away. Happy New Year. Two metres. Yeah, yeah, we're still. Six Ooh. feet. Six feet. We're still keeping things, yeah. Crazy times. Crazy times. Getting less crazier, maybe. Hopefully, yeah. But we'll see. Maybe. Yeah, not. but that's what we're having a chat about today, isn't it? Yeah, so we thought we. Bit of a change. Change yeah, of. Change of pace. Change have a little... subject chat about because we've noticed on we've had people call us about emails we've had social yep. media comments That's just about social media comments yeah <laughs> where's my back order where's this where's I that where's that you. yeah uh, stop blaming covid <laughs> so we thought we'd have a little chat to yeah. not make just, excuses it's just, no, a, just, a, just here's a, how it is yeah. kind of chat tell you how it really is now yeah. what it's been like the last 12 months yeah so it's been a bit of a different period i mean Al, how many years have we been doing this? I don't know. Doing um, what? Are we, are we 30 years next year for Planet? This year, sort of. This year? Yeah, 30 years this year. 2021. 21, 20, yeah, this year, next year. 30 nine. years. Okay, and, it, and it, pretty much it's been a year like none other. Yeah, but still is 2020, but, isn't it? Nope. In theory. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah, Weird it's year. been... Uh, yeah. yeah, so anyway, it's been a, a, a challenging year for all of us uh, and just wanted to... Let you all know where we're up to and what's been happening and and let you all you all peek behind the curtain of what's, yeah. what it's really like out there yeah because i think a lot of people don't fully know no i think a lot of people don't appreciate it. they yeah. they just see i want to buy this i've got some money in my pocket i've got my, my money from the government yeah give me and, that uh, give me that thing i want that now buy it yeah um, and, I, and i guess I the just big... can't because you know yeah and i guess the biggest kind of running theme for what we're going to chat about now is knock-on effects yeah because yeah. every little thing, I mean, just look at that Suez Canal thing that's just happened. Oh, that's just like the icing on the cake, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's Suez like, Canal blocked for a week. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and a six, week becomes six a month, billion, becomes three Six billion months. dollars of products a day stopped in the Suez Canal. Yeah. Anyway, so, so we'll, we'll roll back. Sort of the, the reason for doing it now is that we're 12 years on pretty much. Within a week, 12 years, uh, 12, 12 months, months on. 12 See, months on. We don't even know what's uh, happening. A year on from the original lockdown, the original UK lockdown. And on that day, March last year, basically the country shut down overnight and we had pretty much three months of sat at home doing pretty much nothing. Nobody knew whether they could go in the office and work, nobody knew if they'd run production, um, all our supply chain shut down, or transport shut down. And that was the start of basically the world burning. <laughs> Yeah, um, and that was three months where nothing really happened anywhere. Um, so, yeah. knock-on effect of that is that now roll forward twelve months. Everybody wants everything that they wanted last year. They want it now, mm. and um, there's just everything's been squeezed from every angle. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, we had an interesting time because like, obviously with some of us like in the design and marketing bit, is we can work remotely. Yeah. So we've got to keep the brand ticking over, knowing yeah. full well that stock levels were dropping. Yeah. And the more you keep telling people, look at our new sexy awesome gear, and people yeah. can't get it, it gets quite and difficult. It gets, well, it gets frustrating for them yeah. and, and yeah. frustrating for us. And then the longer it goes on, the longer you, the more you're wondering, uh, are we going to have a business to come back to um, at the end of the day? Is it going to be? Mm -hmm. Are we going to be able to survive it? Uh, lots of businesses, unfortunately, haven't been able to survive it. We've been very fortunate that we've managed to make it this far <clears throat> and hopefully we can carry on um, but it, it's tough we, we've been lucky in some ways that we've had our Taiwan facility uh, which has been you know Taiwan I, I was actually just looking up the figures they've had a thousand recorded cases of COVID in Taiwan um, and 10 deaths uh, sort of makes a, a mockery of uh, what we've been doing over here what the US has been doing uh, their economy has been going from strength to strength. Mm -hmm. um, and luckily for us, we have our own manufacturing facility over there where our guys and girls over there manufacture a lot of our equipment for us and they've been managing to 
muddle through and, and keep us afloat, as it were, when we were struggling to get production up and running here. Yeah, yeah, because I think that's something people don't fully know about us either, is that we don't just operate out of one office and then everything's no. external to us. Actually, the people at our manufacturing bases are employees. Yes, so, yeah, all of them are. And sourcing and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that was, that was very fortunate. Um, but even coming back to UK and what we do here now, we're still not up to full strength. We've still got issues with, you know, almost all of the staff here now, because we've been here so long and we're all so bloody old. We've all got families now. Um, homeschooling challenges, um, you know, trying to look after family, whether it's protecting people that are vulnerable within our own mm -hmm. families that have potential health, underlying health risks, uh, all that kind of thing. It just means we've not been at our usual full strength for anything like the last 12 months. Yeah. Slowly getting there now, and, and the news from, um, you know, this week, things slowly unlocking more in the UK, where hopefully we can get back to something more normal. And again, hopefully it won't be a third wave or a fourth wave, and you yeah. have to go back into lockdown again. Yeah, but so yeah, it's just been tough. Yeah. So, uh, so that's one side of it. Actually getting people into our building, being able to do the work has been a struggle. You then, need to look at that everybody that's our suppliers they're in the same situation as us yeah our anodizers they're a family-run business that if the family's not in working there's no anodizing being done um they, they shut down they yeah, they've got to homeschool their kids so they haven't got a full strength workforce in there um so it, it's it's every, it's like everybody it's not just us it's everybody that we deal with um and that's on the supply side, then you've got shipping side. It is, it's, a, it's just a, a perfect storm, really. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, we, we were just discussing amongst ourselves before, uh, and it's people don't really realize that if you've got um, a product that you want to manufacture and sell, you can have 99.99% of all the components in that gun, if you're missing, uh, 0.1 cent screw or uh, an o-ring anything one component missing out of that you can't sell it um, so when your supply chain is so diverse it means that there's many many uh, pitfalls mm. or potential pitfalls to stop you being able to build and, and, and sell a product yeah. like and, and even normal times one of the things I learned recently was uh, which makes all the sense in the world is if lots of other brands of different industries bring out products from using the same materials, yep. and then all of a sudden you need to order, as an example, an LCD screen cover yeah. that's made of plastic X. And yeah. You go, you can't have any of that because yeah. Apple are using yeah. it for all Everybody the else billions. Yeah. And you go, oh, yeah. So, so as an example, it's um, uh, again one of the other things about the last twelve months is our de de demand, um, particularly in the US. And other places has increased for our products that's because people haven't been traveling they haven't been flying abroad they've had more disposable income been getting yeah. the checks from the government whatever reason that people are paintball has had a, a in itself generally a, a good few months um, and demand has been outstripping our supply capability at the moment but we're also in a market where um, our product uses a lot of components that are used in electronics devices, personal electronics, which are in high demand because people are sat at home and they're not doing anything, not not at work or they're not going out, they're not traveling, so they're buying more stuff. Um, um, a lot of our components, uh, metal components in Taiwan, are manufactured in very similar factories that make uh, mountain bike and road bike components. Um, everybody wants bikes at the moment because <laughs> You can't go anywhere, so everybody's been buying bikes. There's no gyms open, the, you're not allowed to travel, so people have been buying bikes, can't buy a bike at the moment. Uh, and so they're, they're all huge demands on um, on components, and not, not exact com components, but machining capacity and materials capacity. So we've sort of been hit from all sides. Like I said, perfect storm of not being able to get hold of stuff and an increased demand. So. Mm. And I said the paintball thing, people are, you know, they know at some point they'll be able to go and play, and because they've got the disposable income, they're yeah. going, well, I'll stock and it ready. And they can just mess around with their, their, their guns in the back, back gardens. If yeah, 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 yeah. So, 
Oh yeah. And then of course the other side of it, we mentioned it with the Suez Canal thing as a bit of a joke and a bit of a cherry on, uh, yeah. cherry on top of the cake. Uh, but even shipping was one of the first and biggest things that uh, was hit yeah. um, because most of our um, most of our product that travels internationally travels or did travel on commercial in the hold of commercial airlines. So um, obviously there are, there's freight, um, air freight, um, but a lot of what we use is commercial airlines and they sell a whole uh, space in their hold. Um, when everybody stops flying and there's no more planes, there's no more space on the planes. So overnight, March last year, price of air freight basically quadrupled. And we normally do weekly shipments between our main uh, locations, Taiwan, US, UK, Europe, um, that all traveled in, in air freight or, or on commercial airlines, uh, and that just dried up. Um, prices skyrocketed, quadrupled overnight, still haven't really come down because uh, there's still not a huge amount of flights going on. Um, and then, so we had to start looking at containers. Everybody knows what's happened with containers. Got container ships off the coast of California, sat there, can't unload. Had the Suez issue in the last few weeks, but also it means that rather than two days to move something from one location to another, uh, it now takes six to eight weeks, probably getting up to 10 weeks in some cases to move stuff around. Uh, and you have to ship a whole container as opposed to just a pallet or yeah, then you've got import export wars as well going on, so duty yep. costs are going through the roof. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. crazy business. Loads of, loads of wonderful, loads of fun. Yeah, yeah. but we're still still plugging away. Still yeah, doing our yeah, thing. Um, trying our best. Um, electronics is the topic of discussion this week. Some items gone up or five hundred percent. Some components on electric uh, on the circuit boards gone up. 500% and lead times been pushed out to 50 weeks, which is it's crazy, isn't it? a year. So we're trying to order stuff for 2022 at the moment, electronic side. And yeah. hopefully we know what we're doing. Yeah, it's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, I guess like I said, we're fortunate enough to have enough people in the right places to at least keep us going in the right direction instead of it all just going dark. And, yeah, uh, and, and all the people are, that are you know, responsible for these parts of the business are in-house. We're not trying to deal with, you know, third parties everywhere yeah. or middlemen. Yeah. Trying to get the answer. We, we're lucky we can just go and try and find the answer ourselves. Yeah, so we're, we're, we are plugging on forward. And like, you know, in terms of thing with sales, you know, we're, we're still going to digitally, we're still going to be sending mail outs and keeping our social medias active to show people cool photographs of paintball and inspire people to play. And yes, we are going to be showing images and writing cool things about products we yeah. just don't have yet in the stock but yeah. we have to we can't well, just I stop mean, these things I, I, coming back to that again we, i see all the time uh, how come they're not shipping product we are shipping product we're shipping product yeah. every single week um all our full range guns being manufactured every week um a lot of people seem to think that they're the only people in the world that want that product on that day and mm. if they can't get hold of it it's because we're not making it that's not true we ship all over the world not just the us not just the uk um we have different markets to support uh, and we have different product lines we can't actually physically make all the different models at the same time so we'll do like a week of one model week of another week of another and then back to a, uh, the start again if you like it tends yeah. to be how we work uh, or two weeks of one, two weeks of another. So we do ship every week, but it may be a month between shipping a one style and reshipping that one again. Yeah, and it's a good case for, um, you know, if you check with your local dealer, you can even check it out. You know, our website's a great example. Yeah, our, our website's always, always show out, out of stock first. Yeah. So it's always worth having, don't just go to our website and say, oh, we've, we've not made any of those. We always prioritize all our, um, all our dealers and distributors get priority over our online store yeah. we do sell direct off our off our online store but we never ever hold any stock for our store if we if we have one gun in stock and a dealer wants it the dealer gets it um, yeah. and we go to out of stock so yeah yeah we do have a dealer if you don't know how to find your local eclipse dealer check out the locator on planeteclipse.com <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah yeah so we're always going to promote things because you know we want 
like you like you say they are coming through and there are yeah. people who think because they can't get one that they don't we don't have any well yeah. they are the people that don't actually have put a pre-order in so it's a good time to if you want something put a pre-order in get on the back order yeah. list because all the people that are still waiting will trump you unfortunately yeah. Um, yeah, so shipping, costs, delays. Yeah. Supply Material and demand, costs, material costs, yeah. staffing issues. So, yeah, so we're yes, being hit just been... like everyone else. We're still moving forward, just a little bit slower than yeah. usual, but surprisingly well, actually. But uh, Yeah, well, we're still here. We are, yeah. Yes, jobs are good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I've got another child, so another job. Oh, yeah. yeah, keeping the jobs a good idea. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Lockdown, baby. I'll. Is it? It's not a lockdown, baby, is it? I think. Is so. it? I think so. Oh wow! <laughs> you, She's three months you old. You knocked up your. <laughs> She's three months old. That's a lockdown, baby. That's... Oh well, well done, Al. Anyway, I know what you were doing when you were off work that first well, we month. Were, we were trying. <laughs> it just so happened. <laughs> not an accident. Anyway. 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 Uh, we're going to finish on a bit of a positive slant anyway yeah we? speaking of products uh, well positive that we're still here and we're, we're still manufacturing yeah. stuff and, and stuff we're still, still trying trying still smiling yeah. yeah smiling yeah and we're, we're in the we're office smiling. at the same time which is i know rarity in itself yeah. new so, product new product so let me uh, we are there's plenty of clips because of the quality of our gear and the quality of our teams are used to the word podium because a lot of our teams oh, and players oh go, with that. go on the podium yeah. because we're winning and they're winning and everyone that uses yeah. our stuff will be more oh, winners. better at winning and winners. And you're yeah. a winner, Jack, and I've been yeah, a winner. You are. So we introduced the Eclipse podium. What could that be? <laughs> it's a gun stand in black and, and silver. silver. Can't show this. I don't even know what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. yeah. so there we go yeah so, so yeah so the podium stand cool features okay it is a gun stand comes out this thing that screws in what screws in you can obviously adjust it into different positions depending on the way the thing yeah. lines up lock it off with a lock it off with a ring slide it in Okay, you go. can lock it in with a grub screw so you can't take it out of the podium. Uh, lock a screw in there. It's got a nice little engraved block there. Yeah, a little you can, on there. You can have this angled like this, or you can have it straight like this. The block here rotates, so you can either have it this way around, angled. so straight at one side, angled out the other side. Obviously, it'll fall over if you like that. Out. Um, so you can have it straight or angled, and you may also notice holes in the base. I'm going to use this. Zip, zip, zip. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Zip, zip, holes zip. in the base because this can be wall mounted or table mounted. So can be mounted like this. Can mount it like that. If you so desire. Yes. So you can yeah. have it straight. You can have it mounted to a wall and have it angled so it sticks out from the wall slightly so it's not perfectly flush it's yeah. like you can have them racked up oh, yeah, in a row dynamic so you can have them all like this um and yeah it's just a very cool metal flexible they've actually been useful gun stand. they've actually been useful for us to use in the photo studio to take pictures of yeah stuff as well so there we go. So they Tail are mounted, wall mounted, angled, straight. Just a flexible little piece of thing. You can lock yeah. them in if you want to. And they are imminent, aren't they? They are. Yeah. Hopefully in the next mm, two to three weeks. Hopefully. Yeah. And they are, don't have any electronic components. So yeah, no electronics in them. Which no, is, glad to know. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, and they're, like I say, available black and silver. And you can mix them around. It actually comes with um, comes with two sets of screws as well. So it comes with either stainless screws or black screws. So I'm with your black. Sweet. So if you look at this one here, you've got a set of stainless screws, a set of black screws. You can swap those over so you can either have black and 
stainless contrast or you can have it all blacked out. We put your stainless ones in the bottom. All right, sweet. Like that. So there we go. And then there's the, uh, we've been looking at a, an external pneumatics marker, but we think we have issues with paint. I believe there's yeah. issues with paint, paint ingress. ingress. <laughs> <laughs> also, like good old cocker fashion, you get kinked hoses as well. Oh, yeah. oh well, cockers. Nice. Right. So, anything else to say on that note? Other than thank you for staying with us. Thank you for voice. Uh, and <clears throat> yes, thank you for your patience. Yeah, um, been a difficult twelve months, but hopefully this we're getting near the end of it now. Everybody's getting vaccinated. Al, how old are you? Forty-five. Oh, so you're not getting your vaccination yet? No, I'm, not I'm asthmatic either. though, lifelong asthmatic. Yeah, have you had it? Yeah, no. Still, really? Yeah. They're not phoned you? Nope. Okay. My missus is like forty-six. This year. I'm a toy boy. Thing. Toy boy. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright for you, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're all getting there, and. Uh, I hope everybody's safe out there and well. Yeah, so this year's it's still going to be, year. yeah, there'll be a few speed bumps this year, but we're just going to keep yeah. on, keep on trucking. Yeah. So, so all right, guys, well, take care. Keep sharing Back everything. soon with some new products again. Yeah. Soon. And we'll, do, and we'll do some live lives. Yeah, yeah. Soon. Drop soon. us a line and let us know what you want to know. Yeah. We can do proper live live. Dangerous. Like a dangerous live live, yeah. isn't it? I mean, let's be honest, I'm not really going to edit this, so it could have, might as well have <laughs> been live. Might as well have been live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye. Hey, take care, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.